Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Unandeta for tenth of Afi. Igwe. The eyes that sees the gods and our ancestors. The mouth that speaks the language of humans and the spirits. Ogunandeta greets you. That that is worn on the wrist does not need a mirror to be seen, Your Majesty. We have seen it all in my hands. They that oversee the affairs of our people and direct our destiny have released the effigy of Yoda. And that's required by me, by customs and tradition. To you, I release it. Igwe, I've played my part. Play yours. My part, I shall play very well. I promise. My gratitude to you and the gods. My blessings, that of our gods and our sisters, I live with you. Peace. Most likely an antelope. No. Two antelopes about to mate judging from the intensity of their movement. Ah. Today hunting in the forest won't be in vain again. To think of it, I was about going back home out of frustration. Thank you gods of Afiko. And please, help me to make a good kill of at least one of the antelopes. Of Afibo. Queen Obiagiri, the Igwe's second wife, and Ichi Ogazi. What are they doing in a thick vast forest like this? No, this doesn't look good at all. It doesn't. I must find out why. You 
I'm becoming too indiscreet about this our relationship. I, I no longer have uh, uh, comfortable with it. We should have waited till night falls so that we can meet at our usual place and have it anyhow we want, as many times as we want, undisturbed. I know. It is not the trivial matter I brought you here. I may be craving on you, but that doesn't mean I'm stupid. I brought you here so we could discuss more important issues about us and our future generations. Hey! Fumo! Fumo, Fumo! Lolo, Lolo, don't tell me you have gotten pregnant for me. Enough! Don't be silly. If I am, I wouldn't be foolish enough to let you know. I will simply put it on my husband, Igwe. I brought you here so we could discuss about your daughter and the heir to the throne, Prince Uchenna. <laughs> Lolo, wait. If I get you right, does it mean you have convinced the prince to marry my daughter? If that were the case, I wouldn't be informing you in this thick forest. So what is it? Su Chenna has fallen in love with another maiden from Ukunta. He informed Iwe and I. Despite all I try to talk him out, he insisted on making the maiden his wife. Hey. And Iwe has given his consent. That is not true. Don't, 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 tell me that. don't tell me that, Lord. This is not true. I can never believe this. Igwe gave his consent. It's a lie. I can't believe this. Bro, have you forgotten that everybody in Africa land believed and have already known that Uchenna and my daughter are in love and that they are getting married soon? I told you this, so. I said it. When you were making the news public everywhere, I said it, but you wouldn't listen. You wouldn't listen. Enough! I wouldn't listen. Yes, I wouldn't listen. Because I wanted my son, Ubanja, to be on the throne when my husband joined his ancestors, not his first son, and the son of his late first wife, Prince Uchenna. Hey. Well, I don't, I don't get what, 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 what I'm talking Yes. That was the whole idea about me opening my royal laps for you. I am aware that if we are caught, you will be executed and I will be sent on life exile. Yet, I went ahead and seduced you after three years. I did because I planned on trip to expose our faith to Iwe by blackmailing you to convince your daughter to poison Prince Uchenna after their marriage. A powerful Dibia revealed to me three years ago that it is only a woman he has had sex with can poison him. And that was why I brought you and your daughter into this. How dare you? No, no. How dare you? Bring I and my daughter into this devilish plot of yours without letting us know. I did not use you selfishly, or no. The custom and tradition made it compulsory. I wanted my son as the next king of Afibo kingdom. Daughter to be the queen and you to be the father-in-law of Afibo kingdom. Think. Lolo. You have no right to involve I and my daughter in this evil plot of yours without getting a consent first. Oh no. Eh? I'm sorry. I brought you here so that you stop this Uchenna from marrying the maiden of Okunta. And in fact, from being a candidate to the throne ever again. How? Prince Uchenna is going to Okunta tomorrow to meet her. Make sure, make sure yeah. he doesn't return alive on that trip. Hey! What's your puppy? Are you asking to are you are, are you asking me to 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 to, 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 to kill to, Prince Uchenna? You hey. Or I will damn the consequences and tell the Igwe 
that you have been sleeping with me. Mm. Why would you do that? I, you know I cannot. You I, can. I, I can. You can and you will. But also to make your daughter, Okwoma, the next queen of Africa. Yes, my son will marry her. I have already gotten him to commit into it. Hey. Izuku. Lola, you are lying to me. I can't keep calm to this. I can't keep calm to this. The Igwe must hear about this. The Igwe must hear about this. Alu! What am I doing? Going to report what I saw and heard in the forest to the Igwe. What if they deny it? How will I prove it? Yes. By the time whoever the Igwe will send to the forest to catch Queen Obiageri and Ichiogazi will get to the forest. Most certainly, they would have finished and left the place. Who will believe a poor hunter like me? If that happens and both of them deny everything, them against me, and I would be severely punished in the end. But if I fail to expose them, Prince Uchena, the heir apparent to the throne of Afikpo Kingdom, would be harmed. Will I ever forgive myself if that happens? Will I? Cause of a people. Please, tell me what to do. Please. Let me finish him. No, no, no. Wait, 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 let me finish him. No, no. 
<laughs> you have desecrated this land. Mm. And your blood shall be used to cleanse the land. Damn. Yes! Yes, yes Your Majesty. Majesty. Take these things <laughs> to the evil forest and hang them. I am the only one. I am the only one. I am the only one. Take them away! I'm sorry. <laughs> Dare you call my name? After causing this royal household such an embarrassment? And you call my name? How dare you? Oh. Take these things to the evil forest and hang them. Arrow. Take them away. Take them. <laughs> 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 My son, it's okay. I cannot take your mother's sin against you. Mm -mm. You are my own, and my blood runs in your vein. Mm. So I know what you can do. Mm. Get up, my son. Get up. Mm. Please, whatever, whatever Danish has caused to this royal household, I will do the right. I will do the right. It's all right, my son. Get up, my son. Get up. Thank you, my father. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Obadja, my brother, I won't hold you over what happened. You are my blood, mm. and you still remain my brother. Mm. It's okay. Come. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Mm. It's okay. Honor! The greatest hunter of our time. I cannot pay you enough for what you have done for this royal household. You risked your own life. To save the life of a prince, the heir to the throne of Afipo Kingdom. Mm. May the gods of our land and the spirit of our ancestors continue to bless you and your unborn generation. You say, Igwe. Now, Onoa, I want you to name anything you want, and this royal household shall grant you your request. Bam. I did what any true son of this land would do for his kingdom. Igwe, I don't want to be feeling like an hero. But I want to thank the gods for choosing me to save the situation. Igwe, if you insist on rewarding me as you said, I will just ask for one thing. And that one thing, I would love to be a friend to the Igwe and my princess here. <laughs> Indeed, what a noble character, your highness. Yes, it's a noble character. A good soul. Mm. Yes, it's a noble man indeed. Mm. Onoa, Igwe. your wish is granted. You are now one of the greatest friends of this royal household. So shall it be, I have spoken. The former Igwe and my father told my childhood friend who is to be crowned Igwe today. And I, Awoka, this story is about secondary school days. The foolishness of it has always made me mad each time I remember it. Yes, the foolishness of my great grandfather. How could he say that? How could he be that naive? What silly royal friendship? Well, that was for him and his sons after him, including my father. For him, since the day I heard the story, I have never stopped thinking and plotting. For that great deed of my great grandfather, no reward will be acceptable to me except the throne of Afipo. Yes, the throne of this kingdom must be yielded to my family by hook or crook, and I must be the king of this kingdom. May God give the new Igwe and I children, because the plot I have made only be hatched using our children when the time comes yes when the time comes and it must come 
and I woke up regretting to strike this and take the drone. Oh yeah, the drone must be mine. I bow to your lordship, masters of the realm. Welcome and thank you once again for answering my call. My client and your loyal servant, Chief Onoka, is here. He needs your help, according to him. They are listening, Chief. Welcome, my lord. Welcome. The prince of my kingdom is about to get married. I desire him to be husband to my only daughter, who is the love of my life. That is why I am here. I need your help. The prince and your daughter are friends since their childhood days. But they are not in love. Make the prince to fall in love with her. Their souls will be invoked and glued together spiritually to avoid the risk of complications now or later. No, no, no. Not after what happened. When I tried using spiritual means to get my son to become the governor of the state. I did not know that his opponent was dedicated to the lords of the seven seas and everything ended in disaster. I don't want any other of my child to be involved in anything spiritual. My son is now a complete vegetable in America. So please, I want this done without involving Jacinta spiritually. Is that all? Yes. Alice! Wallace! Well, to grant your request without involving your daughter spiritually can only be done with you actively involved. Are you ready to do it? Yes. Yes, Lord Oloko. I am ready. I am ready to do whatever it takes. Yes, Mo! Karashida Puja! Go to the eBay and discuss the idea of the marriage with him. Once you do, the egg will spiritually leave you and possess him. With that, he will not only be convinced, but will also champion the idea as if it is his most pressing ambition. Once he talks to the son, the egg 
will possess him too. And he will agree without questions. Because you don't want the masters of the realm to do any work on your daughter's side, they will never get involved. Getting her to marry the prince is therefore your sole responsibility. It's not a problem, Lord Loco. That is not a problem. Jacinta has never refused me anything. I will get her on board, I assure you. <laughs> then, good luck. Thank you. Ugunambeda. Ugumba Kembo. Carry that cotton to the Royal Eco store. And from there, join your fellow colleagues. Awesome. As your Majesty pleases. Uh, once again, welcome to the People's Palace. Mm -hmm. Chief Omuka, my good friend. Thank you for receiving me as always. Your Majesty. <laughs> hmm. This is not the first time that I've given the gift of dream. Even before I ascended the throne of my fathers, such was a sort of tradition on your part. This is the first time you are doing it with a request that I grant you Is anything the matter? Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Mine was not one of the noble families in Afibo Kingdom. Your grandfather, it was, who appointed my grandfather into the Royal Council. Your Majesty, there were many other qualified families. Your grandfather, appointed mine to the royal council. He conferred nobility to a common family. And that friendship has spanned through to our fathers and to you and I. And today, Your Majesty, there is no better trustworthy and supportive friend than you since my childhood. Same here. But what are you talking as if I needed a reminder of all that? Your Majesty, the return of the effigy of Iuna signifies that the process to the succession of the throne has begun. And the prince is not married or engaged or is he? No, he's not. But why do you ask? Your Majesty, I remember. You hated so much the idea of the girls choosing a bride for you in your own time. It was my wife and I that hooked you up to her best friend, your late wife, two weeks before your installation as the crown prince, thereby freeing you from that tradition. Why are you not doing the same for your only son? Why allow him boxed into a corner? by the gods in his choice of a bride. It was not my father's idea to circumvent the tradition mm. in my time. It was my choice, my idea. At 30, and with two degrees from Harvard, Melvin is not a child that uh, should be decided for and things like that. 
And I am too educated and progressive minded to know and respect this. The Majesty. Our friendship has been true to four generations. And in my considered opinion, this is the time to take it a step further. Let us bring them together. Let us bring our children. Jacinta and Melvin, together as husband and wife. That way, we will be in-laws as well as friends. What do you think, Your Majesty? Brilliant idea. So good that if not that, Melvin is already airborne on his way back to the country as we speak. Mm. I would have called him and ordered him to go straight to Jacinta right there in America and propose to her. But please, call her to come back home immediately. And why is that important? a candidate to the throne of Afi as a matter of tradition must propose to his future wife face to face. Anything other than that is no avoid. Oh really? Really? <laughs> I, I did not know this. I did not know this really. Um, I, I will bring her back to the country <laughs> immediately. Who could not do that? She has your Good morning, dear. It's 7 a.m. here. My bad. Sorry, Dad. I keep missing the differences in time zone each time I'm in California. Oh. You're in California? Yeah, it's in the capital city of the state, Sacramento, precisely. I arrived here from Harvard four days back to conduct some field research for my PhD Texas. Sorry, I didn't call to tell you. It's been very hectic here, and the winter weather is not helping matters at all. I know. I understand. How is it going? How long would it take you to finish your research? I'm already done with the part of it that brought me here to Sacramento. The field work I mean, just compiling notes. So give and take, I should be out of here by the weekend. Um, that would be in about four days. Okay. Um, Angel, how about um, giving Daddy some weeks of your time after that? Give you a few weeks of my time. Are you coming to America? Oh, no, no, no. No, dear. Um, I want you to come down. I want you to come down and spend some time giving your Daddy some of your wonderful well, that will give you a break from your studies and the harsh winter cold, you know? How about that? Fantastic idea. But... But what? I'm so chopped up with time now, though. I have only six months to conclude my doctorate program here. And I'm almost running behind schedule in my work already. Come on, Dad. Just last week I told you that if I ever leave what I'm doing here to make any form of travel, even for a few days, I've run into trouble in my academic program. 
Why are you now? Oh, yes, Angel. Uh, something very important for your present and future and that of the entire family just cropped up. And you have to be physically present for us to manage it. And um, it's quite urgent. Dad, what is it that you consider so important that you're asking me to risk ruining an academy program that I have devoted the better part of my life in the past 18 months and come back to Nigeria for? Angel, I know you have put in a lot in your studies. Yes, I do. And um, that has actually cost me quite a fortune, you know. But that is nothing compared to what is at stake here. Interesting. And you don't think I deserve to know what is it before packing my bags and heading home? Do you think that I, I would involve you and the entire family in something that is not in our best interest? And ask you to make such a big sacrifice for something that is not worth it? Do you? Dad, for goodness sake, you are talking to a 20 year old other trained lady. A PhD student of the same school. Tell me what is it or you forget it, please. Um, I'll call you back. Hmm? I'll call you back. Dad? Do anything that 
she will consider an insult to her sensibility. This idea of asking her to leave something which she considers central to her life and come home so that her childhood friend can propose to her is something I Chifonka. That is our tradition. Try and convince her to come back home anyhow you can. As for the prayers, I will try to make him pray along as soon as he comes back home. It's all right, Your Majesty. I will get her back. Hmm? Just work on the prayers. <laughs> oh, as for the prayers, uh, leave that to me. He said, don't leave. Good to see you, Dad. You're looking healthy and nice. My others, I need you. I need you. I am glad you agreed to resign your lucrative employment in Boston. As soon as I called you to tell you what happened and the implication. Honestly, since the day you decided to stay back in America and work after your degree program in uh, Harvard, instead of coming back home to run the family business as agreed, my greatest fear has been that you will make a decision that might destroy our dynasty when the time comes as it has now. <laughs> Come on, Dad. You and Mom give me the best African upbringing any child could ask for. So, Harvard or no Harvard, I know who I am. This is my route. Thank you for those words, son. I am so proud of you. <laughs> I'm proud of you too, Dad. You're hmm. my hero. Again. I am proud of you. Really proud of you. <sighs> back to the issue that brought you back home. Have you anyone in your life now? <sighs> that I... I have been so busy over the years acquiring degrees and building a career for myself in the American corporate world that I haven't really given it thought and time to having a good relationship with any lady. And that really worries me now. Worries you? Yes, Dad. The fear of being left with no other option than to go as the tradition says. What if the girl the gods will choose for me happens to be somebody I don't love? I'll be subjected to living with someone I don't feel anything for for the rest of my life. That's scary, Dad. Exactly the way it was during my time. But unlike you, I did not resign to fate. I put in my all in search of a wife and successfully built a love relationship with your late mother. In fact, I engaged her two weeks before my installation as the crown prince and we lived happily thereafter which you can attest to before she died six years ago. Why don't you try doing the same thing? You see, between the day the effigy of EU was returned and the installation proper, the prince has six weeks he can ask for to prepare himself, if he so wishes. Dad, mom said yours was easy because Jacinta's mother, who happened to be her very good friend at that time, convinced her to give it a shot with you. I don't have any real friend now aside Jacinta, and she's not even around to help out. Even if she were that, all her friends are Americans, and I don't see any of them agreeing to such rushed arrangement. Jacinta 
is your trusted childhood friend. We don't have any blood relationship. Just family friends. Yeah? So, what are you driving at? Why not her? Or don't you think she could make an excellent queen? Um, what do you say to that, son? <laughs> Thank you very much, Your Majesty. I appreciate this. The ball is now in my court. And I give you my words, I will not disappoint you. Thank you once again. Bye. I'm sure it's night time in Nigeria. So good evening. Good evening, dear. Yes, it's precisely that time. How are you? I'm very fine, Dad. You said the last time we spoke you were going to call back and you neither. Yes, dear. I was waiting to get more clarity on the issue that I discussed last with you. So that I'll be able to answer your questions before calling you back. I take it that you have it now. For you to call me by bedtime over there? Yes. Okay, I'm listening. Can I talk to you in deep confidence? Come on, Dad. You've been my best friend. And confident. Since my childhood. Of course, I'll answer whatever question you ask me. And also keep whatever secret you divulge to me, I promise. Very well, then. How well do you know Prince Marvin. Dad, <laughs> are you the one asking me that? Megan and I are childhood friends. You of all people should know that he's even closer to me than my stepbrother Geoffrey. If you mean sexually, know that. Why are you asking? I will explain later. First, will you have any problem going that far with him? Now you're making me... We promise to... Answer whatever I ask you, Jacinta. So answer me. Sorry, Dad. I will not answer that question. Unless you first tell me why you are asking. Uh, now, Jacinta, Prince Melvin is back in the country for his installation as the Crown Prince of Afibu Kingdom. One of the requirements is that he must choose a bride from the seven maidens to be named by the gods. Wait, 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 Dad. Don't tell me that the reason you wanted me to abandon my PhD program and come back to Nigeria immediately is so that I will come to compete for Melvin's hand in marriage with some goddamn local girls. No, it's not like that, not like that. Our tradition allows him to marry any lady of his choice. If he formally engages her before his installation, Jessica, Prince Melvin, has no woman that he's intimate with now. Yes, I know that. His father wanted him to propose to you. His Majesty broached the idea with me the very day I called you last. I am it's a fantastic idea. I did open up to you that day because he was yet to get the prince consent. In fact, he was yet to tell him about it then. Today, Prince Marvin arrived home. And he discussed it with him just a while ago. Guess what, there? Melvin agreed. Um, but there is a little problem. As a candidate to the throne, our tradition forbids him proposing to a lady unless they are physically together. And for that, you want me to come back home and? Dad, do you want to hear the truth here? Yes, dear. I said I cannot marry Prince Melvin or any other man for that matter. Why do you say that, my dear? I don't do men, Dad. You know what exactly? I'm a lesbian. A total one, Dad. Dad? Me, 
past your center. I have done all I could do. I have said everything that a father should say to his daughter. But she stuck to her gun, Your Majesty. She will not leave her program and return home. If the prince loves her enough to marry her and His Majesty approves, then they should find a way to delay the process for at least six months when she will be done with her PhD program. Those were her exact words, Your Majesty. And you give up just like that, Chief Onuka? But I mean, that's true. If you have allowed her, you have father. You shouldn't have let her just go on and... Uh... Yes, I know. I know. Jacinta made me promise not to raise the issue with her again until she's done with her PhD program. Maybe your... Your Majesty will find a way to to delay the process until seven months' time. Is it possible? This is a process fully under the control of the gods, Chief Onka, and you know it. Melvin and I are not gods. We live and rule over our people with their approval. I don't see how trying to manipulate the installation process because of your daughter will not incur the awesome wrath of the gods against us. Oh, well then, let's forget it. Yes, let's forget it. I mean, let's continue to enjoy the warm friendship we have built over the years. Your Majesty, my Prince, you don't have fears. Thousand ancestors of our people! in the dark and light. Hear the whisper of a child in the middle of a thunder blast. Know the secret of a man the dead and living. You know and elders of our people are here. You know why they are here? From your infinite vantage position in the spiritual realm, speak now. Name the seven maidens that you have set aside for another place to choose his wife from. Speak now! Speak! Omo Wu and the Uri Chia of our people kingdom, we greet you. We greet you, the gods of our ancestors. Listen more, thank you for keeping the bond between us and the men and women of our people. Thank you, the gods of our land. Men will be following as the potential prize of this love. You tell me, daughter of Kuchi Kano. You hmm. Kuchi, daughter of Mazago. Hmm. All Archi, daughter of Chikumeke. You <laughs> Kuna, daughter of Mazokocha. You Duma, daughter of Chikijo. Shoma, daughter of Masuko. Seventh maiden will reveal herself in due time. And when she talks, she shall confirm it. This one? How? Men may feel confused and mischievous reason for the gods are never so. As in this situation, we have done and will continue to do. Let men do theirs in all sincerity, and the prince shall be happy. The right people shall prosper in peace. Thank you, this one. I'm sorry, I almost
God's question of wisdom. Thank you once again for speaking in honor of an ancient rare tradition that you have instituted. Thank you, best one, once again. Hello, Richie. The rest is in your hands. Rise home. Without the identity of the seven maiden being, gods are wise and infallible. Go, Omu. Thank you, wise one. Let us go. to go to the Igwe and the priest and make them believe that I had no hard feelings about the turn of events. Then sit back and wait until the gods named the maidens. You said that only then will you and the masters of the realm listen to whatever I have to say. I just told you to speak. I know. You came here thinking that the seventh maiden the gods did not name might be Jacinta. You are wrong. She is not. Where who is? And what are the gods up to? Keeping her identity hidden for now. The masters of the realm are not speaking to me on that one. So to your stated intention, are you still insisting that Jacinta should not be spiritually made to play along? If it will ever involve spiritually manipulating her soul, yes, I am still insisting. Help me to manipulate the entire process in a way that Prince Melvin would remain unmarried until Jacinta finishes her program at Harvard. Once that happens, I have a plan to make her change her mind and marry him despite her sexual choice. Mm. Mm. You sound too confident about that. The egg of eternal compliance is no longer in the prince and his father. Calm down. The egg does not possess people in whom it has no active duty to perform. Your failure to convince Jacinta to come back means it has no business. Being in the prince and Igwe until she returns. So be careful how you handle them till then. For they are fully in control of their minds now. Now! To your request, once you return home, call. Igwe, my prince. I greet you. Are you the mannerless lady I was informed that she literally forced herself into the palace, demanding to see you, the prince and I immediately? Yes, your majesty. And you see nothing wrong with you barging into the palace? Demanding to see royal occupants dressed like a common... Rose girl, your highness. Yes, that is what I do for a living. I do commercial sex business. And you dared step your abominable feet on the hallowed ground of my palace? Your Majesty, if my presence here is such a bad thing in your kingdom, then I should be commended by you and the prince for coming to do what I came here to do and not vilified. What insolence? What insolence? How dare. Guys! Uh, no, no. For this guy needs to be talking. How could you come in here and, and, and... Let me handle it, son. Calm down. Mm, young lady, you sound like someone on a crucial mission. Yes, Your Majesty. Speak. Thank you, Your Majesty. I am sorry if I've angered you and the prince. My name is Agatha. I am a native of Ogoja. I have already told you what I do for a living. But I'm not alone in it. 
one of the ladies your gods named as a potential queen to the prince has been in it with me since our first year in the university. If that was all, I wouldn't have bothered coming here to expose her. Something more damaging and dangerous to the life of the prince here is involved too. Please look at these papers. Sorry if I did wrong bringing it to your notice. I stand ready to defend it anywhere. that this is true then. Copies of the results of the HIV test you and I had at the University of Calabar teaching hospital last month, girlfriend. Yes. I brought it to them. And I also told them everything about our wrong activities with politicians in the past six years. Yes. Why? Is there any truth in this, Shoma? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you always. This is a crisis with far-reaching implications, leaders of our people. To be qualified to be named a potential royal bride by the gods. A maiden and her family must not have any criminal record. Must not have any hereditary disease. Must be fertile. Must not have had a child before, nor committed abortion. I must not have any sexually transmitted disease. How could the girls not have known this? How? The chief priest must explain this. Same God, who from what we now know, no longer see, or are now out to destroy our prince by naming such a meeting amongst his potential brides. Imagine what would have happened to your dynasty if the girl Hagata didn't show up and Shoma ended up as princess wife by hook or by crook. Imagine what would have happened. What are you driving at, JK? When the maidens were summoned to the palace, few hours after they were named by the gods, 
You don't know who told them everything that is involved. All the do's and don'ts. And give them time to speak up if there is any of them that has any secret that could disqualify her and tarnish the entire process in any way. Did Jehovah speak? Did our gods speak? They did not. Who knows what else the other girls and the gods are still hiding from us? His Majesty asked you to clearly state your point. Let us take charge of the process as a leader of the land. Here and now. How? The JK has made himself clear enough. The gods have clearly disappointed us. They believe in the against us. In short, I invoke the powers of this council, the council of this ancient kingdom, to overrule the gods. By invoking the powers of this council, where the ancient offer of this kingdom, Ichi Ikichi, has tied our hands, we can no longer overrule him. Not even me, nor the gods. So we have to take charge as he has requested. I now ask, how? I suggest we continue with the process with the remaining maidens already named, Your Majesty. No. I suggest we do away with the maidens completely. Install the prince as the crown prince and leave him to take his time. Search for, find a wife, like a young man looking for a life partner. Two suggestions. Any other suggestion? Your Majesty, in the present circumstance, these are the two choices we have to make from. But I am asking council to defer making a choice so that members of the council can go home and examine these choices that we have to make from your majesty. Hmm. Two opinions. The installation of the place is scheduled for four days from now. A day before that, this council will reconvene to take a decision by vote. And a decision will be taken by a simple majority vote. Sit down. Uh, Bruce, on the background. If I have to pick myself, I will scatter your body with this dagger. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Oh, Bruce, I, I was asked to go to the airport with you and. And see your church here, so you can settle down. Yes, no. So I paid for the racket to the FC package for Palace. Yes, no. You lie. There have been change of plan. Hmm. Change of plan? How? I need to take you to Australia. I don't see you to Australia anymore. Like, like this time, you don't go to your access stores. Hey. You hey. now, and I got a little. Hey, bro, hey. Ah, please. Please. That's what she said. Why are you begging? In this room, yesterday, I asked you a simple question. And you gave me a wise 
honest and simple answer. I ask you, what if I withdraw the 100,000 Naira I give you as monthly upkeep? Since it was discovered that you have a complicated heart problem. And you answered me honestly that you will simply die hungry or become a beggar. And that was an honest answer. Because with no wife, no family, no properties to sell and earn an income, you will simply die wretched. But, I will not withdraw it as I earlier threatened. You earned it when you took Ichik, EKG out of the council meeting and convinced him to do exactly what he did in today's meeting. You said what? Ichik, Ichik, Ichik. Both of you conspired. You, your son, your only son, is facing a murder charge for the murder of his girlfriend on campus. Am I right? Chief, he told you and I, when we said in the police custody, that members of the campus court group killed her in his room on the orders of their leader, who the lady had refused to be his mistress. No, I haven't. I also haven't forgotten that because the police killed the boys in a failed robbery attempt, hours after the girl was murdered, the children, the lady's family, and the police came that your son is lying in order to save his head. But Chief, use the reference to help me get the police commissioner to order his officers to write a report in support of my son's story. I think it's... Oh! Thank God you remember! Thank God you remember! In his next appearance in court, the police Appeal to testify. The chair will go. What if I use the same influence to get the police to change their statement and indict your son? What if the presiding judge? Who is my friend? Get the call to sentence your son to death. And what if the governor is referred by me to endorse quickly the violence and have your son executed immediately? No. What if? What if? Please, Chief, please don't do that. That is my only son. He is innocent. Please don't do that to me. If that boy is killed, then I'll be nothing. I swear my life, I will do anything for you. Same life with my son. If that boy is killed, then at least I'm finished. You will do anything for me. I swear with my life that I will do anything for you. I like that statement. Please, Chief, what do you want me to do for you? Please. <sighs> nothing much. Really, nothing much. I just want you to vote in favor of discarding the named names. So that the prince can choose a bride for himself when he wants and how he wants. That's all. Just that? Just that. But why? What's so important about this that you are turning to a black man? Why? You want to 
change your mind. No, 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 please, 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 chief, please. I beg of you. Ichie, Ike, Chi. Ichie, Ike, Chi. What if I insist on a DNA test that will expose to the whole world that the first son of your first daughter is your biological son? You're shocked. I know. Chief Omoka has his way with such information. Oh, 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 boom, Matthew. You can't do this to me. <laughs> we, are, we are friends. We are friends, please. Huh? For friendship's sake, so please, please don't do this to me. Please, please. Hey. Come back to you, Ichieke. 
But the girls have brought her home because she is the seventh maiden they promised to unveil in due time. Mm. Welcome home, virtuous daughter of our people. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Ogumba, he knows too much already. If he could betray you, despite the leverage you have against him, then how safe is our secret with him? That is it. What he has in that his returning daughter is something he would die to protect. Look at him. A castrated bulldog who had no family before today. A hungry dog to bite, keep and use, but not anymore. So tell me. Tell me, how do I deal with him without her? You are a political chief. See Iche Eke and his daughter as your worst political enemy. And do it there once and for all. Yes, I got her disappearance, uh, arranged accidents, poisoning, anyhow, just anyhow you can do it. Do a real there immediately. See, if my dirty secrets, which he got to know through you, leave to the public, I I will expose you to his majesty and commit suicide. You said what? You heard what I said. And if his majesty alters a cause against you, holding the offer of Afiko, you will run mad instantly. Save my son or I will sing to the Igwe. How dare you? How dare the both of you? How dare you? How dare you? How? Leave them and listen to me. Leave them. And listen to me. Yes, leave them. Because you have a bigger problem in me than in them. Even though I don't know what they told you, that unsettled you so much. How dare you? How dare you, castrated dog? How dare you betray me? Ugumba, if you call influencing members of the council to vote against your wish, today as I did, a betrayer, what do you call the secret plot you are acting against the Igwe? An embrace? Um, I'm sorry, um, Ichi AK. Uh, sorry for talking to you that way, actually. Um, congratulations. Congratulations on your daughter that has just returned. Please sit down. Ugumba. Sit down. Let me explain what this is all about. Ugumba. It is only a fool who embraces a scorpion and expects not to be stung. I am not such a fool. No. Not now that I have a British trained manager in one of the major telecom companies in the country as my own daughter. I am here with the money you bribed me with. I came to return it to you. I'm not here to listen to any explanation or anything from you. Uh, I remind you that whatever you have to will not enjoy my support unless it's for the good of the kingdom. Stop it! Or I will tell His Majesty everything we have discussed and done so far. Everything! Including your own secret, Ichi Ichi, and Ichi Oh. No, 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 no Ichi. You, you can't. If you want my lips to remain sealed forever, stop whatever this is all about, Ichi Oh. Simple demand, isn't it? Goodbye. And um, Ichi 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 Ichi. Be. 
just go to destiny. assaults her, I'll be killed instantly by the gods. What are you talking about, Lord Oloko? But you assured me just three days ago that I will succeed. You, you even gave me the information with which I blackmailed Ichi Ikeji. How could you have allowed everything to fall apart on my face to the extent that the three men you conscripted to help you achieve your aims have left threatening to expose you if you don't stop your scheme. So you know all that? You know all that and you still didn't? For 23 years you have retained my services from the one I told you never to keep details of what you wanted from me. If you want my full powers to work for you, why did you decide to keep details from me this time around? I... I don't get it. You don't? Why didn't you tell me that your real intention in all of this is not just to get your daughter to become the future queen of your kingdom, but also to take over the throne and the vast wealth of the royal family? I'm sorry, I, Oluko, I'm sorry that I left that out. More than anything, it is the vast wealth of the royal family that I am after. My sons failed Governorship beat and his subsequent illness has left me broke. Oh, look, oh, please. Please. Please save me from this shame and disaster. Your daughter will never become Melvin's wife, no matter what you do. That is your punishment for keeping secrets from me. So decree the masters of the realm. That's not acceptable, Lord Oloko. In fact, I want to. You will still become the ego and take over the royal family's wealth. Yes, you can, but it will cost you something very dear to you. Something very dear to me? What could that be? Jacinta! No! Never! Never! In fact, man of The wrath of the bastards of them is very great against you, Chief Onloka. I don't care. I don't care, Lady Loco. Let them do their worst. Let them do their worst. I will never, never, ever have my daughter. Fortunately, Chief, you can no longer save Jacinta. Yes, the masters of the realm have already taken her soul. So whether you live now or not, she will still die. Quiet or you die now. Sit down. Oh, look, please. Please. I said sit. Oh, you are wasting your time, Chief Omoka. Once she returns to the country in six months' time, have sex with her and strangle her after that. Or you shall die within 48 hours of her return. Will you do it? But you have not left me with any other choice. Now, tell me, how would I still realize my ambition? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
subdue the gods of our people and help you to the throne unhindered. Realist, how do you need to stay for me? We less more. We less more in this day. Kalashina Puja. Yes. Yes. Realist, how do you need to stay for me? We less more. We less more. <laughs> Don't be afraid. It's still me. From this day on, I will wear this body anytime I want to function as chief priest of Afi. Now go home and find a way to take me permanently out of Afi. The only thing that can stop you from becoming the evil of Afi is if Chinini and Mervin ever set eyes on each other from now on. I am heading to the shrine of Afi to take charge. Now go home and take care of your own as well. <laughs> Abomination has happened. What happened? Your Highness, Icheiki has been murdered by his returning daughter. Ah, ah, hello. Hello. Ah. Hello. Now that's an outrageous conclusion to rush into young man. Who told you she killed him? My prince, this. I found this on his corpse. Please, everyone, listen to this. Listen to what was recorded in it. Please, don't kill me. Don't kill me. I'll confess this. Yes, I will. The prophet who told you that, that was right. I, I, I consulted the native doctor who told me, that's, this is Ichi Eke Papilo. I consulted the, doctor who told, the native doctor who told me that the only way for me to achieve erection again is that I must find you and have sex with you. And make you have sex with me once we unite. He said that once I set eyes on your nakedness, my mind will start working again. And once it does, I must have to use it on you or it will fall and never rise again till I die. According to him, the only way to bring you to return to me is to kill your mother. Because I desperately wanted to have a son who will keep my lineage going. And he the last thing to do now. Now we talk about the girl. It's the devil. It's the devil, he said. The same devil also made you to attempt to drug me with a drink. Earlier this evening, why pretend him to be celebrating my own coming with me? Right? After the evil thing you did to my mother. Thank you. For everything. Melvin. How could this happen, Dad? These are the questions. We have an important ceremony to get over with. Dad. That kill. That kill triggered something in me. She's scared of something in me, Dad. I saw it. I saw everything, believe me. You are not alone at this. My heart melted also to the extent that if I had my way, I would have waited both of you yesterday. Until we know otherwise, she is a murderer. And Dad, are you saying we should launch an investigation into what happened after today's ceremony to find out what actually went wrong? The police will launch the investigation. The gods will launch their investigations also. Until both prove otherwise, she will never existed to you and me. Dad, you guys are royals, baby. You are a kind of wait. You must know how to take hold of your emotions, especially with non-royals. Don't ever forget that! I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry I lost it out there. But there are lots of things that don't add up. How can they then? I say let the police and the gods do their investigation and handle everything their way. Is a crime and an abomination. But now, let's join the others and proceed to the shrine for your installation. Come on.
There's a more. You say that Ugo sent you here to inquire about what to do based on the latest development. Yes, there's a more. There's a more. Tell me where I'm in mean, the to send the maidens and you are named the potential rare brides home. That arrangement has been cancelled by the gods. Yes. This maiden has between now till turn 32 in two years time. To pick a wife a new young Jesus. So decrease the gods of this land. The gods are wise. No, no. Okay. And I want you to give me a peaceable expression on your face. Sound as if you have just a few days to live. The level of the emotion you bring out from people out there will determine how successful or otherwise this would be. Are we good, sir? Ready to roll? Action! Happy Alamia, rolling. My dear brothers and sisters, I am dying. The doctor said my kidneys are badly damaged. Unless I undergo kidney transplant surgery urgently, I would die from the complications. I have spent so much undergoing dialysis every week that my family is virtually broke. I need 18 million naira to go to India for the kidney transplant surgery. I don't want to die. Please help me raise this money, my people. Save me, please, for the sake of God. All right, Cut. Cut? He hasn't finished. He has not told them his name and the account details that we're paying the money to. Those ones will be added through voiceover and graphics in the studio. We have gotten all what we need for the skit. The rest is for you to... It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It was discussed that one outside. As you can see, the nurse is here to perform her duty on him. Because we have kept her waiting. For so long. Please, they said they were doing something bad. Please stop crying. Me. Me. Being recorded. To be aired on television. And begging for money. Like a retreat papa. A millionaire. A little over a year ago. God, why could you allow me to descend to this shameful level? Why? Honey, it's okay. Don't go complicating your conditions by dwelling on the negatives like this. God knows why it is happening. How do you reckon? God knows? Yes. Are you who brought the young man that duped me into bankruptcy and insisted that I buy into the business thing he come with? You don't know? It's okay now. Must you always remind me of that silly mistake? Why mustn't I, Rachel? Look at me. Look at what your shamelessness has reduced me to. Look at what a boy, young enough to be your own son, that you shamelessly open your life for, has reduced your husband to. Has reduced all of us to. My goodness. What did you just say, Dad? Yes, you! And Cecil did what, ma'am? My dear, I trace your mom and that devil to a hotel room 
and caught them having sex. Mom! See, he jumped me. That boy jumped me. He jumped you. I feel so disgusted. Anytime you give that lame excuse, he charmed you. And the hotel staff said that both of you were their regular customers over six months. Charmed you. And you watched him beat me into a pub before escaping. Even while I was begging you to call for help. Bernard, our daughter is here hearing you. Please give me some respect. I won't. Enough of the lies, Rachel. Tell your daughter the truth. Tell her that her father is not here dying because of diabetes induced kidney failure. And she thinks. But because of the damage he sustained, why being beaten by your adulterous partner? What? A little boy, you are allowed to take everything away from me. My wife, my honor, my wealth, and soon my life as well. Bernard, no. He did not take me away from you. I'm here with you and for you. And you're not going to die, please. Please forgive me. He did not take you away from me. Oh, and you stood aside in that cost hotel room and watch him hitting me on my both sides with a metal object until I passed out. What a loving wife role you played that day, Rachel. What a wife. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry, my lord. Just pray that nothing happens to my dad, mom. Pray that I will ever forgive you for this. Just pray. In my office now. Okay. Uh, nurse, yes, nurse, please okay. take care of him. Okay, doctor. You said you'll be fine. Yes, yes let's go. If what the doctor just said, do I need to remind you that it's time for you to realistically consider the condition? Mr. John, his colleague and the program manager of the television network get to you. I can't believe you just said that to me, Mom. Oh. Realistically, consider what? Sex with three different men just to get the skits they made for us aired on the television? <sighs> what does that make me, Mom? Nancy. What does that make me? You are not a virgin. Are you? Mom! Yes, I'm not a virgin. No. And I'm not a prostitute either. Now listen to me. You see that man lying unconscious in that world. He is not just ordinary man. He is my husband. Your own father. That man has been there for you and I all through our times of need. I love him. And I love him too, Mom. And you want to stand here and watch him die 
when a little sacrifice from you can make the difference between life and death for him. What a love. What a hollow love. How can you call my love for my dad hollow, mom? I love him wholeheartedly, mom. Please. Then prove it. Prove it by doing what those guys said to save your own dying father. Come on, Nancy. Are you in any way different from your sister in the UK? When she got expelled from her school due to her inability to pay her bills in the school because of what happened to your father and his business last year, she listened to my advice and agreed to stay back there instead of coming home to join us in this fire of luck. Eh? Up until she ran into trouble and was detained two months back. The family has been surviving on feeding on the what she has been sending. And what do you think she was actually doing to raise the money? The same thing you are standing here refusing to do to save your own dying father. Lord have mercy. You took Tina into prostitution in England? And you're here proudly telling me about it, Mom. Ah! Nancy. Nancy. Ah. Our family has nothing to live on. In fact, we are down and dry financially. The only way to make it back economically is that our family land where oil was discovered in commercial quantity. Listen, let me tell you. The family and the company, they have discussed and they promised to pay in four months' time. And if you have forgotten my angel, let me remind you that a woman does not inherit any property in her customs and tradition. If your father dies before that money is paid, you and your sister will not get a dime out of the 32 million naira due for him from your uncles. In fact, they will take everything because your father has no male child. So, more than your father's life is that money that I am desperate to secure. I will do anything. I will do everything within my power to make sure I get it. So, you will do it. In fact, you must do it or consider yourself a young lady without a home as soon as he breaks his last. Are you threatening to disown me, Mom? Nancy, I will even kick you out of my house. Mom. Oh. Yes. So, you know what? Do what you need for if you don't like it. Yes. Mom, what are you saying to me? Mom. Mom. Hello, sir. Uh, yes, I'm just leaving where I, I met with your guys to come to your own hotel now, sir. Five minutes? Ah, no, sir. No, sir, please don't do this to me. I'm already on my way. Transfer. We're leaving for India tomorrow morning. 
Did you have a visa too? Yes, I, I made a tourist visit to the country some months back and the visa is still valid. God bless you. Thank you so much. I'm very good. Thank you. Oh, please hurry up. Come on, Madam Mustafa. I am a king. I don't tell petty lies. If the payment were in need, I will really tell you so. You see, for the past two months, my son, Prince Melvin, has effectively taken over my business operations. He is a straightforward, Harvard trained business executive. Harvard trained business executive. The growth and the reforms my business had known since he took over is enough for me to trust his judgment, including this business we are doing now. He vetted it and approved it. Oh. And then if he called me to tell me that he's on his way to the bank to make the payment, I have no reason to not to trust him. Calm down, Madam Mustafa. My kingdom is very close to the city where my business headquarters is. Just about 30 minutes from here. He will soon be back and when he comes back, I will. Oh, he's back. Just, I will get back to you. Let me talk to you. Hmm? Uh, Thank you. That was Mustafa, right? Yes. What did he say? He said the NMPC director you paid the money to his account is currently out of the country. And he did no room his line. Uh, so the transaction cannot be confirmed until he comes back. You paid the money in, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, I got a lot of uh, 20 million naira withdrawal by you from the company's uh, account. I mean, uh, the 25 million naira you paid to Malan Mustafa was arranged cash for you by the accounts department. By my express permission, so why the withdrawal of the 20 million? Uh, you look uncomfortable. What is it? Uh, um, Dad, I'm sorry. I've been very pressed. I actually ah. came to let you know I've made the payments. I need to Come on, money. son. If you're not being fair to yourself, please go use the toilet. Thank you, sir. Huh? Thank you. Oh! You're welcome, sir. We are back home from India and the surgery was successful. You and all of us indeed should be smiling and singing for joy. Yes, Dad. Hmm? Not crying, not the smooth. Please. Yes, my dear. I'm not crying for pains, but for joy. Okay. To think that I came back to this house with my, on my feet. Oh. Come, come, my friends. I can take you enough to walk off. So Thank you so much. Tonight. Do you discuss anything? Oh, that's all I didn't tell you about it. I have dinner organized for us tonight in a very cozy place. And I've made arrangements for police security patrol to escort us to and back from the venue. Really? Yes, sir. Uh, I want to use the occasion to. Excuse me, Dad. Hello, dear. Where are you? It's a lie. In the palace? In the living room? Goodness. 
That means my driver must have spared too. Okay, not to worry. Um, you just make yourself comfortable. My dad and I are coming downstairs soon. Alright. She's here. Who? Someone I have grown to be very fond of recently at our dinner meeting tonight. Dad, come let's go downstairs so I introduce her to you. I enjoyed every bit of it. I know that. I've never seen you so happy and vibrant as you were throughout the dinner. And thank you for accepting Nancy. She made it so easy by her intelligent. Yeah, I told you. She made it really easy for me. <laughs> thank you, Dad. Um, how was the drink? I'm going to sit down. Okay, Dad, I'm going to When are you proposing to Dad, we only just met. We just started dating. Three weeks. If within three weeks, both of you have developed the depth of love and the uh, bond I saw between you this night, the next only logical thing is marriage. Yeah. You need assistance getting the engagement ring? No, no, not that. That. No. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dad. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> ah, Dad. Good evening, Majesty. Good evening, sir. Um, the ring in her finger is mine. We're getting married. Fantastic. <laughs> Splendid. This is excellent. Super. Come, 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 come. <laughs> come, come. <laughs> come, come, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Hey. <laughs> Hi. What can I say? Congratulations. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Your Majesty. Hi. You have my consent. My approval. Thank you, Your Majesty. My blessing. A million fold over. Amen. Amen. You don't know how happy both of you have made me right now. <laughs> hey. Thank you, Your Majesty. No, 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 no. I am the one that is to thank you for being courageous enough to take this big step forward. In fact, you did it for me. <laughs> you did it for me. Hi. 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 My future daughter in law. Hi. Mom. Just a right time, mommy. Hello, mom. Your daughter. What happened, mom? Calm down and talk. Yes, I'll come back home. But what happened, Mom? Mom. Mom. Gosh. What happened, baby? I, I don't know. It's my mom. She only said that our world is about to collapse, honey. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's not thinking. Calm down. Calm down. Hmm? Whatever it will be will not be as bad as your mother is making it sound. But uh, you heard her say her mother was 
You are a man! And a king in waiting. You have to show strength and confidence in all circumstances. Bear that in mind as you take up and find out what's going on. I'll be back there. <laughs> Wise one, welcome to the Your yeah, dynasty is over, Your Majesty. Maybe what is that exactly what you had, Your Majesty? A son went to India and delivered one of his kidneys to somebody, and that made him an incomplete man. No man is been. No man with a living under the side here is allowed to sit on the throne of our people. So because the gods, without one of his kidneys, your son, your only son and the crown prince is now disqualified from the throne. Once one you can't. Not only that, Your Majesty. The gods of anointed for Oka to take over from you. Yes. And to him shall all your assets and liabilities be passed on to. And that of asset is immediate. I have declared the message of God to you. And I leave you now. But you say it's Onoka. Onoka! And all the real members of the real cast. The way you sounded, why? Who did you donate your kidney to in India? Nothing. Did you really donate your kidney to someone? Yes, Dad. I, I did. I donated it to Nancy's father. The 20 million naira I, I withdrew from the company account was for this purpose. For, for the transportation and surgery. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I, 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 I'm, I'm deeply sorry. You're really sorry, Melvin. could say for destroying the dinners of my forefathers. You are sorry. That's all you could say for keeping this family there and bringing heavy burden of sin on you. How do you mean? Let me shut up! You are really sorry. You are really going to be sorry. Yes. You are really going to be sorry. Thank you for everything, Melvin. Thank you for everything. Thank you. The throne is now yours. His Majesty just committed suicide. What? When did it happen, Lord Oloko? Just now. Just now. You are a king in waiting, as I promise you. But when that waiting will be over, it's yours to determine. I don't get it, Lord Oloko. I don't. You shall never be crowned king until you have fulfilled your assignment with Jacinta. Find a way to put your coronation on hold until you do. For if your coronation ever happens before that, you shall die. Once the throne touches your head. And until you sleep with Jacinta and kill her, you are forbidden from ever coming to me for any kind of help again. If you do or tries to consult any other spiritualist, you shall run mad instantly. And pray that Prince Melvin do not get married before your coronation. For if he does, everything we did will come to nothing and he will become king. You know it that the kidney story I used to get him out of the way is a lie. It is not a taboo in our people. And the gods never said any such thing. Honey, what is it? My goodness. What are you...
That's my father is gone. Jesus. My father shot himself in front of me. My father is royal majesty. Committed suicide. Hey! Because of me. Hey! Wait! Wait! What do you mean because of you? Talk to me! Nancy. Because I donated all of my kidneys to your father. Mm -hmm. The gods of the land declared me an incomplete man and unfit to ascend to the throne of my father. What? Not only that, they took away everything. <laughs> everything my father had, his companies, his assets, everything. What are you saying? What do you mean they took everything? But I could not take it. He shot himself because of me. Why would you allow them to... How can you allow them to take everything? No, you can't. No. No. No, 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 please, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what a lucky man I am. Your presence in my life made all the difference after my father's demise and the loss of family assets. Knowing that you are there and mine was all that kept me sane and kept me going through it all. Same here, baby. I love you. I love you too. Yeah. Your last day in this compound is here, Melvin. You've been waiting to come over. I beg that you stay here till your father's funeral is over. And the gods granted this. Now that the funeral is over, it's time to leave. Time, time to leave? But the palace is not possible. Everything is. What did he just say? Uh, who is there? What? What? No, 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 no. Tell me what you told me on the phone was a joke. Your Highness. It is true, Mom. I am no longer His Highness now. I am nothing. I'm just a walking. Oh God. You mean? Yes. The company lawyer told us everything. My father was made to sign a document transferring everything he had to Chief Omuka. The company, his assets, even the palace and the cars. I saw it myself. Nancy even saw it. Yes, Mom. Your Highness, confirm that you're a man without a home now. Yes. I am now a man without a village, even. I'm now a homeless church rat. Yes, Mom. All my honey has left. Oh. Is his clothes? Just that. Lucky. Hello, honey and mom. Hi, honey. Oh, welcome, honey. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? You're welcome. Thank you, mom. The storm is finally over. You passed the interview? I got the job. <laughs> I'm now the manager of one of the biggest real estate conglomerates in the country with a salary of 4.5 million naira annually. Hold on. 
<laughs> Just break it down. How much per month? 400,000 naira month. Damn, <laughs> When are you starting, honey? Mm -hmm. As soon as the result of the medical test I ran with the doctor is out. The job is yours! It is my name, hey, man! Hey, hey. <laughs> the job is yours! I saw the Thank name. you, honey! You know, mom. I love you, I love you, I love you! I love you, mom. This calls for celebration. Yes! So just give me a while, let me go get stuff. <laughs> yes, wow. baby, wait a mm, So why is telling me you're gonna eye? Because I love you. No, no, I love you more, you know. Uh -uh. That's, you That's know, not true. You know I'm the one that love, you know. You know. <laughs> don't die. Then the eyes, I. Excuse me, baby. Ah, what is this? Hello, what is this? Good morning. Oh, oh, good morning, sir. You? Yes, sir. Really? Yes, yes, I'm around. I'm around. No, no, I'm free. I can come. Okay, sir. I'll be on my way immediately. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Honey? Oh, sir. <laughs> the call I have been expecting for three days now just came in. Really? I'm telling you. Oh, my God. That's the company personnel manager. He wants me at the office immediately. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, baby. Whoa. I can't oh. wait. What are you waiting for? What? What are you still waiting for? How? Let's go to the bedroom quickly. Yeah. yeah. You and I? Yes. Because from now on, I'm going to be the one betting my honey plum. <laughs> yes. I'm taking it as my number two duty. Second only to my bedroom duties, you know? Let's see how good you are at that. What are you saying? You know I'm very good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how good you are at that. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, 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 wow. Thank you, God. How could they? How could they use that to deny me something I'm eminently qualified for? How could they turn my genuine humanitarian gesture into a nightmare for me? How? <sighs> Come on, calm down, please. Mommy, you ask me to calm down. You ask me to calm down, how? Mommy, you ask me to calm down. You ask me to calm down, how? I have just 2,000 naira left in this whole house and I have nothing in my bank account. How am I supposed to take care of us? Just tell me. God, God, how did I do wrong by donating a part of my body to save a dying man? How? First it was my father. Now this. It's okay, honey. Please calm down. I can't let this happen. Yes, I can't. How do you mean? Love without work is jamboree. How do you mean? What can you possibly do? Do you think you can do anything to change it? I don't know. But I can let it happen without at least putting up a fight to stop it. Your father's death still make me feel very bad, even though I know I could have done nothing to save him. Me too. Huh? Hey, but what can we do in this case? Plead for him, ma'am. Yes, and that's what I'm going to that company to do right away. How you think that can change anything? Maybe. Anything is better than doing nothing under the circumstance. Faculty of Economics, University of Calabar. Is she for real? Teresa? 
Yes. <laughs> Last month. <laughs> what are you doing in our company? Your company? Uh, yes, my father's company precisely. Chief Ibiba Jack, the founder and the managing director of this company is my father. So tell me, what are you doing here? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Um, I... Uh, no, I don't want, I don't want uh, I'm about to go for lunch. Why don't you join me so we can discuss whatever they brought you here over the lunch? so much chief I appreciate thank you I'm dropping away now remember no one absolutely no one must hear of what we have discussed here today hmm? including Nancy she is too emotionally involved with him to be trusted with this. Once their engagement is broken, and Melvin is made homeless and a total reject, come. I will give you the balance of the $100,000 I promised you. And a duplex. I am Chief Onwoka. I keep my words. Chief Chief. Trust me. My only regret now is that you're saying I should not question as well. If not, you would have been a dead man before the day runs out. Today. And um, my concern now is how my daughter is going to react. But don't worry. I'm going to handle her. Hmm? Go and do what I have paid you to do. And you must not fail. Because if you do, I will be forced to do it myself, Madam Rachel. And if I do, no one will be safe. Including Nancy and yourself. Anybody could be caught up in the crossfire. Now go. Go and do what you have promised to do. Not stand here talking and making promises that I'm not sure you can fulfill. How did it go? I mean, did you succeed? They threw me out like a refused being. Good God, no. Who did that? Now that's one thing I will not take from anybody no matter my condition. Who did that and who ordered it? No one fights with empty stomach and expects to win Melvin. Honey, listen. Fight is not always physical. You're my fiancé, my love, and it's my duty to defend your dignity at all times. Defend me first from the indignity of hunger and lack. Please do that and I'll be okay. Why are you talking like this? You know I am doing my best to make sure and things... And your best so far has been miserably inadequate. Isn't that what you wanted to say? Please spare me the psychological touch of hearing it again from you. Excuse me. Baby, see, listen, honey. My mom said I should tell you that you will never cease to be God's favorite for your kindness. Especially for the money you gave to me. Of course! I don't hide things like that from her. We've been close since I was a kid. By the way, is it every day a lady gets one million naira check from her man? Ah. You make me feel so...
so lucky right now to have you, baby. I love you, baby. I know you do. Um, mom is here. Do you want to speak with her? Ah, uh, mom. Terry. Hello, dear. I'm fine, and you? My God will never stop blessing you. Amen. You're such a blessing to my daughter. Yeah. You will always... Hey. Here they are, baby Shh. and... Mom is on the phone. Excuse Let's me. Some manners, please. Excuse me? Let's call you back. Let's call you back, please. There's something that needs to be handled urgently. Huh? Thank you. Bye. Melvin. Is it anger I'm seeing on your face or something? Mom, that was rather rude of Nancy. She could have easily told me that. And you're making noise while I was on the phone. It's called what? Best civilized behavior? Huh? I'm sorry. I was only just... It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, Melvin. It's okay. No need for that long talk. Apology accepted. Thank you for that, Mom. Misfortune or whatever it is, is fast reducing him to a pissy, noisy guy day by day. <laughs> if only he knows how that disgusts me. I'm sorry, I don't know what must have upset both of you today. But whatever it is, I plead with you to put it aside and celebrate with me. I just got a job offer from a reputable hotel as their chief horticulturist and they're placing me on a salary of 70000 a month. <laughs> I know that may not be the most wonderful job and um, salary to earn, but at least anything is better in this our present condition. What did I hear you say? Our... God forbid. God forbid. I have never associated myself with bad luck all my life. God forbid that I should start today. Nancy, what about you? Mom, I'm not in the mood for much talk, please. He got a job. Good for him. Now, Nancy, that's one careless talk too many. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, honey. I am very sorry. Congratulations. Do you want something more? Hmm? Nancy, are you in? <laughs> Baby, go in and have your shower, then join us later, okay? Okay. She's not having a shower. Yes, we'll join us later. Come on, baby. Come on, honey. Go and have your shower. Nancy, I can't find my bags in the bedroom and I belong. Is where are they? Check in the guest room. The guest room? Why would you take my things out of the room and to the guest room? Excuse me, my Alvin. Alvin, the last time I checked, Nancy here is still single. She is not married. And you are nothing more than a guest in my house. Has that changed? Well, what are you trying to hey, She asked you a question. Go on and answer her. Because the last time I checked, I am very much single. Am I not? The pet just pulled it. Ew. Meaning what exactly? Meaning that whenever you return from work in the last week, I keep wondering if it's still flowers you tend there or cheats you pack for them. Gosh. You smell like a suspect guy. Please go in and have some shower, please. Ew. When he was bad for you, I was a best friend. When he was good for us, you were a best friend. Me? No, not you, the lady with you. Nancy. 
How are you and what are you doing with this man? Please, do I know you? God of mercy. Do you know me? Yes, do I know you? Me, Melvin Odnoche, your fiancé? The same person you're living in the same house with up to this moment? Are you okay? Shouldn't I be the one asking you if you're okay, mister? Yes, you got my name right. And I still wonder how. But I'm not engaged to any man. And I have no identical twin either. Honey, please don't mind him. He must be either hopelessly drunk or he's a developing psychiatric case. Honey, How let's go. You're good to go. You see all those things? Take them and throw them inside the river. The nearest river. Or better still, if you can sell them, you can keep the money. Mommy! Mommy! Mommy, thank God you're here, Mommy. You, you have to follow me to my workplace. Please. Thank God I get away smelling idiot. That's it. The owner of all those things here. Carry him as well. Oh, wherever you're dumping all these things, dump him there. Or if you decide to sell them, also look for a slave dealer. Or better still, what do they call them? Ritual killers. And sell him as well. well I, I, are you behind this? I... It was a mission impossible, but love made it possible. Cause I love you, I love you. Now it is bad for me and you didn't care But it was bad for you, I was there Somebody please wake me up, I must be This is our destination Really? So what are we doing here? Four days ago I saw you with another man A man I would later find out to be Chief Jack's son What? You went acting after Terry? Mom, can you imagine that? Melvin, or whatever you call yourself, do I need to remind you that any attempt by you to harm his relationship with Nancy, more than you have already done, will see you dead without a trace? If that were my intention, Nancy would have been his worst enemy by now. I only wanted... Melvin, this place smells like an open mass grave. Say what you brought us here for. Let's leave before Please. one gets infected with some strange disease. You feel horrible around here. Irritated, right? That's exactly the reason I insisted you both followed me to this place. Nancy. Mommy. Four days after you remorselessly had me sacked from my workplace without pay and equally threw me out of the house. You called me to a secret place to meet with you. I came there. Thinking you wanted to apologize and make amends. Only to be asked by both of you to name my price so you would pay me to disappear and leave you for Terry. I insisted that both of you followed me here before I respond to that. And my response are in form of questions. How much was your father's life that I saved, at least temporarily? How much was my kidney that I gave up to save him? How much was my father's business empire and throne that I gave up to save your father's life? How much was my father's life that I lost as a result? How much was your family's pride that I saved by bankrolling your father's funeral? How much is true love? The true love that I had for you. How much is all the other sacrifices that I made for you and your mother recently? If you can quantify all that monetarily, then I'll accept the money. Otherwise, no deal. And by the way, I brought you both here to say this.
because this is the place that I, Melvin, a prince, and the only child of a multi billionaire king, now calls home because of both of you. You would say, put yourself together, please. Please. Are you done? Melvin, or whatever you call yourself, stay off our radar. Stay off our radar! Or you will come to a bad end. Listen, let me tell you. Go out there and ask about me. I am a viper. A very dangerous one for that matter. Nonsense. I don't blame you. Rubbish. Eh? Let's get out of this place. Please, let's Nancy, I love you. Nancy! I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry, no. Nancy! Goodbye, kiss. I'm very sorry. Hmm. I'm very sorry. Let's get out of this place. <laughs> when it was good for me, I was the best thing. I gave you. I, I just want to say, hope to you. I love you so much. I love you so much. Yes, that's it. Before you accept that ring, can you be decent enough to return what I give? Mom, I almost fainted when a man appeared as from nowhere and claimed he was a psychiatrist. That Melvin was once his patient. He said that Melvin has a mental trouble that makes him develop deep admiration for any lady that catches his fancy at any given time. That whenever that happens, he stalks the person and says them as if they actually happened. He told Terry not to worry, that Melvin must have elapsed and I'm only his latest victim. Melvin tried to deny it and the man called in some boys who came and bundled them out. And Terry went ahead and completed the engagement, right? Yes, he did. Even though I was more of a ghost of myself for the rest of the date. Here is the ring, Mom. Wow. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Mom. Congratulations, my daughter. Thank you, Mom. Hmm. Still wondering who the fellow who came in to save the situation for me was and how he made it to this thing just at the right time. Could he be his an angel, Mom? He's human. And he is actually working for your dear mom. Mom, are you shocked? Yes. Himself and his boys, everything they did there or said there. I hired them to do that. Should such moment occur? Mom. Nancy, you have a master planner and executioner in your mother. Have you forgotten? How could I ever thank you enough, Mom? Hmm. Keep that thanks for now. There is still one more job to be done. What job, Mom? Putting the fear of force into Melvin once and for all. Hmm. No. 
I am only trying to put the fear of my daughter in him. And I believe I have achieved my end. I don't want his miserable blood to be in my hands. Now, listen. Do your job. You see this idiot? Your job now is to watch him do for self. Is he tries to go to the police after regaining consciousness? Yes, my shoe is going to be Lobotsi. No, no, just hold on, just hold on. You see that shoe? Those shoes you want to buy for yourself. Hmm. That is exactly what I want. I can match it, Nancy. Write it there now. I, no, how are you possibly going to wear it? Nancy? I am going to, I can match it. I'm going to match it. Hmm? Mom, huh? can you possibly wear eight inches heels? I can wear it! The one with wedge, wedge. I can wear it, Nancy. Mm. Those people they have money. They are, please write it down there for me. Mom, write it with the set, with the set, with the with the purse. Please. Mom, mm -hmm. you know what? I'm going to write it. But if at the end of the day you don't wear those heels, I will have, have you wrong. Too. You see me wearing No them. problem, I'm mm -hmm. doing it. Yes. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. My wedding is so going to be a big society wedding that will shake the whole city. That is it, my daughter. And that is why I want to look gorgeous. It's okay, but... Oh my god, yeah. 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 I totally right now. Um, I'm ten points. Mommy. Come to beg for your forgiveness in any way I've wronged you. If there's anything I've done to you, just forgive me and help me. I'm just coming from the hospital where the doctor told me I have two broken ribs and internal bleeding. I need you to assist me. I don't have any money on me. I don't have any finance. I don't want to die. I beg you, please. You don't want to die. You don't want to die, and you are in my compound. Melvin! You don't want to die, and you set your miserable feet in my compound again. That's because I don't know where else to go. I don't know who else to run to for assistance. And this injury was inflicted on me by the boys you sent. Melvin, please, you're distracting us. As you can see, we're drafting my wedding budget here. So the last thing we so need is a walking dead to walk in here and spoil our moods. Can you imagine? You can call me a walking dead or even death itself. I don't mind. I don't even care who you're getting married to anymore. All I ask is assistance. Please, for old time's sake, just help me live again. Save my life and I swear you will never see me anywhere around you again. Remember I once saved the life of the one you loved. Please save my life. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Melvin. We will help you. Thank you, ma'am. Mom, my dear, let's take him to the hospital. God bless you. Mom, we have a serious business in our hands, so don't worry, my dear. Hmm? Let's help him for all time's sake. Thank you Mom, very much. remember it's Melvin now. Uh, let's get out there and get a taxi for him. You know, and take him to the hospital. Thank you. Oh, God. God bless you. Thank you, Thank you. Oh, let's, let's take you to the hospital. I'm sorry. Thank you. Say you want to go to the hospital. Yes, ah! Oh! Ah! Get out! Hey! You are oh! Ah! 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 So, how are you doing? I hope she is still cooperating fully with you. Yes, Chief. After what I did to her the last time, she tried to be stubborn with me. I don't think she's ever in doubt what I'm capable of. She seems to love life. Too much to don't even think of that. <coughs> Not only that I love life, I can't.
can't give you the pleasure of outliving me. I shall outlive you the day you killed my father before me. I caught you in my nakedness. In case you have forgotten, I said whatever thing you did it for, you will never get. If you see it, you will never get it. That is what I said to you that night in my anguish. And it was come to pass. In fact, I can feel it now that your disgrace is very, very near. Very near. India. And that is for your stupidity. Moto. Sir. I am going to the airport to pick my daughter. Her plane will touch down in about half an hour. Make sure that these bastards eat once a day for two weeks for uttering this nonsense. Yes, sir. Stop, hold it. I will not listen to you people again. Unless two of you now promise me that after your wedding, okay. you are going to take me to Paris to do my own shopping. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> yes, so 
Now, hey. see, I will not be an in law to Abraham, and I will be dressing like the lost Abakli. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. No, you will not kill me with your joke sometimes. Loss a back like a queen. Oh well, uh, if, if that what if that is what you want, do. Uh, ah Honey mm -hmm. Yes. For bringing a beautiful soul like you into the world, she deserves whatever she desires in this life. As far as money can buy it. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Me, Pari, here I come. <laughs> Efe Tora, I will climb you and come down. <laughs> Thank you so much, honey. I'll climb you down, you're so going to. <laughs> Thank but you, on a serious note, my dear, you are just an angel of goodness mm. into my family. Mm. Mm. You promised me that my second daughter, Boma, will be released by the Metropolitan Police in time to attend your wedding. Today, not only that she has been released, oh, Boma, it's been a while. Boma, my daughter, is on her way back to the country to attend your wedding, as you said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. I am very, very happy. Yeah, Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you. My God will all... Oh, you reminded me, Mom. Nancy and I are supposed to pick her and my London based younger sister at the airport, and the flight must have landed by now. Oh, babe, let's go. I need to get going. Okay, please. It's been a while. I'll see. My dad. Dad? Yes. Uh, hello, Dad. Uh, that's not possible. No, it can't. No, I, I'm not watching television right now. Okay, 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 okay. Television, television. That is the flight they are they are talking about. For goodness sake, what is going on, Doctor Andy? We are here sent by our grieving parents to identify and collect the charred remains of our siblings who died in the air crash of three days ago. Your lab guys took DNA samples from us yesterday and you called us this morning to say the results are out and requested that we come and see you in your office. Doctor, more than five minutes we entered your office. All you have done is to stay at us saying nothing. Doctor, what is going on? I'm sorry, I really do not know how and where to start, but I'll start anyway. Fex, are you, are you both siblings, born of same parents? What kind of question is that? We told you yesterday we are intending couples. Yes, Doctor. We are waiting in a few days' time. And the victims we're here for are his sister and mine, who were returning for the wedding. You, you see, um, that is really what confuses me here. You see, your DNA and his match that of one of the victims, even though your DNA matched with that of the other victim whom you took as your own sister. Uh, 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 Doctor, what are you talking about? Please, can you... Explain to us more. The only medical explanation to this is that both of you are blood relation, siblings precisely. Devil is a liar. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Who paid you to say these evil things to us, Dr. Ali? Who paid you? Paid me? Yes. What, what are you talking about? Uh, and doctor. I demand fresh DNA test now. Yes. For both of us. And you better do it right away. God damn it, Mom. This is one moment and one issue. I 
we will not accept anybody paying down to me. Talk to me, mom. Who is my father? Nancy. Are you, are you, are you insane? Huh? Stop that silly joke. Bernard was your father. <laughs> Bernard was my father. And you call what is happening right now a silly joke? That for two times and even a third from different clinics. My dear day, much terrorists perfectly indicating that we are siblings. What are you hiding from me, Mom? Talk! My world is about to collapse. Talk! Sit down. Sit down. Do you believe in the diabolical power of voodoo? Meaning what? Marvin is from the part of the country whose people are only second to the ancient Dahomey people in voodoo practice. My dear, do you think that after what we've done to him, that he will just walk away and allow you to enjoy the rest of your life with Terry? No, my dear. This guy is fighting you. Us. Spiritually. And this is the result. He wants to separate you and Terry. Oh my lord. My lord. How could I have taken this for granted all along? Oh God. Please. Stop this evil end. Mom. Please stop making me lay down, Nancy. Lay down. Let us pray. Let us pray against this guy. Eh? This guy wants to destroy your dream. Pray with me, Nancy. He wants to destroy your dream. Lay down and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Father, what do you have? What do you have? Calm down, son. Stay calm. Let us wait for Dr. Paul's own report. I'm sure there's a mix up somewhere. In the other doctor's own work. Uh, uh, Father, what it turns out that what they're saying is the truth. They are lying, Terry. I never cheated on your mom till her death two years ago. I can swear to that. Hey! <clears throat> yes, Dr. Paul, it was a lie, right? The heart is mess up, isn't it? Um, Chief, I'm afraid that was not the case. Doctor! Are you saying that they, they, mm, mm. Uh, As both of you instructed me, I collected the sample Dr. Andy and the others took from you and Nancy and subjected them to a higher and a more reliable DNA test. The results returned a perfect match. I'm afraid, Chief, both of them are your children. How? I never met Nancy's mother until Terry met her recently. How could I be the father of a girl I never met her mother? You know my father? I know all you sorry. You and Nancy's mother are going to tell me they'll do today. Or all this whole thing will end in blood, but where move? Move! 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 I said, shut up and speak. Judge, I said, speak. Uh, you guys think I'm joking here. You guys think I'm joking. I said, speak. No, please, please. I'll start with you. I will 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 
everything. <laughs> Don't kill me. I will tell him the truth. I will, I will tell him everything. <laughs> I put a trigger! No! Please don't put the trigger! I don't want to die! Please I will say everything! My husband, Bernard, was not a biological father, Nancy! What? my first pregnancy in the fifth month. I, I found out from a doctor during a fertility test I organized that my husband was important. Yes. As a matter of fact, the, the, the lost pregnancy was not his. That was used by me to, to get him marry me. Me to return him and his family wealth. I made a deal with the doctor, and the deal was that he should tell my husband that he has low sperm count and got me pregnant later through artificial means. Why pretending to be treating my husband seven months later, the doctor got me pregnant with a sperm stored in the fertility facility, and another doctor did it to me too. For my second daughter, <laughs> no, I, I, I'm sorry. That is the truth. That is the truth. Please don't kill me. My, my goodness, which year and which clinic did that happen? And what is the name of the doctor you had that deal with? Yes, the, the, the year was 1989, and the name of the hospital was Cross Hospital. The doctor's name was Dr. Davis. No. God. So, she's not lying. Yes. Yes. Back down, son. She is not lying. Remember what your mom and I told you about ham robbers. About how ham robbers invaded our home when we were just three years old and shot me. Everybody, including the doctors then, thought I had no chance. Due to your mother's deep love for me, she pledged never to remarry, even if I should die, to ensure that she doesn't start seeing another man after I am gone. She still wanted to have more kids. She convinced me to store my semen in the hospital fertility facility so that she could use it anytime she chooses. We got the daughter to help us do that. Miraculously, I survived at the end. And I totally forgot about the store semen. That was in 1989 and at Crest Hospital. And the doctor's name was also Dr. Doris. <laughs> How dare you! I'm sorry. 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 I'm you will come to a bad head. A very bad head. Both of you. Please. Let's get out of this place. Terry. Doctor, let's get out of this place. I'm sorry, I don't know. Let's go. I don't know. Honey, honey, please. Let's go. Why are you going to see that in this place? I don't want to see you close to me again. How dare you? How dare you, which is. Forgive you? After what the chief priest told me you collected money from Chief Onwuka to do to me? Mother. Are you shocked? You think I do not know? You think I wouldn't find out? The gods are omniscient. As you can see, I am back among my people as king. While Chief Onwuka roams the street as a complete madman. Chief Onwuka? Yes. Am I 
Oh, you don't know? I forgot. I forgot the two of you were busy enjoying Terry and his family's wealth to have even remembered him. By the way, what happened about your much touted society wedding? I didn't hear anything about it again. <sighs> Terry. <laughs> Terry left me. Yes. Gang, gang. <laughs> he eventually found out about the character of two of you, I guess, right? He was the truth about us that found us out, actually. Meaning? It's a long story. A story to be told another day, please. My mother and I are here to ask for your forgiveness, please. Please forgive us and... And marry you again, you mean? Forget all you people did to me and marry you? Have you cared to know how the walking dead I was the last time we saw managed to survive? Oh my I beg, beg, man, I just beg. Oh I just beg you, come I know that the God of the innocent is never seen. Yes, yes. He will not allow you to die just like that. Amen. Wow. <laughs> wow. The devil talking about God. Interesting. Honey? Honey? Yes. Honey? Honey? Please come and know it. Please come and know Mother, you have killed me! Mother, you have killed me! These are the two witches. Nancy and her mother. The people that wanted to wreck me. Look at them. Look at the faces of evil. Jezebels, meet my queen. Honey, honey, please, you have to forgive me. Now, let me talk to you in the way you will understand. It will do you some good, both of you, I mean, to get up and leave this palace this minute. Hi. Before I unleash the security on you. Honey, honey, please. Get! Come on, just honey, please, you have to forgive me. Get! <laughs> I'll take it easy now. Uh. Dreaming. 